Hey guys, welcome back to your girl channel. Y'all, we had a thousand subscribers. <laughs> Y'all, we had a thousand subscribers. Like, I'm so freaking grateful. Like, thank you guys so much for supporting your girl. You know, subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing my videos, shopping with me, just everything in between. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I do very much appreciate it. We finally hit, we finally hit that subscriber. Y'all, I've been doing YouTube for about seven, eight years on and off. And this has always been a golden mind. You guys made that come true, even with my look inconsistent. But I'm so sorry about that, you guys. Hopefully, I can start pumping out these videos again. A lot of perfume content, entrepreneurial content. I got y'all. But at the end of the day, you guys, we finally hit a thousand. Like, tell them stop playing with me. Tell, stop playing with us, y'all. We did that. Thank you guys so much. I, I swear to God, you guys. Once I hit that thousand, my heart was going on now a minute. I'm so like, I'm so happy. Like, I'm so happy. I'm so I'm like. I'm, <laughs> What? Like that's how I started when I when I hit y'all. I'm still happy. Um hopefully I can do a giveaway soon. I don't know when or what I'm gonna give away, but I do know I wanna do a giveaway. You guys can give me some suggestions in the description. I mean yeah, no, just some suggestions in the comments if what you think I should give away. Um a lot of my products. I'm trying to upload like all the products I have because I wanna have a sale. There's a whole bunch going on, whole bunch whole lot, whole lot. But ne nevertheless, you guys, we have hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I'm so grateful. Like I said, I am going to try to give you guys a lot of new content regarding perfume making and stuff like that. But without further ado, thank you guys again. Like, and let's go ahead and get into the video, y'all. Yeah, you guys. So, like I was saying. Y'all, let's see. Y'all, let's see how quick we can get through this. I mean, we gotta, we gotta move, okay? I ain't got that much filming space. We just gotta do. We gotta do, boo. Again, you guys, I actually seen the insert. Thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. I just made that Sherman friend. I do very much appreciate you guys. So let's go ahead and get through this. Okay, guys, the first thing I want to do um, with my videos is do like a quick perfume know-how or a little tip in the beginning of the video. So this tip is, if you guys are first starting to do perfume and you don't know what fragrance oil, essential oils, so start blending together to get a fragrance that you really, really like. Just, you know, take a uh, perfume that you know about or that someone's, like, a family member likes or you like or something like that. For example, my brother likes Kevin Klein Obsession. So I basically looked up that fragrance and if you really look at it, you guys can see it on the screen here it gives you basically like the definition of what they're trying to get from it and the top middle and base notes of it as you can see it's like an oriental um spicy fragrance which means it this per particular fragrance to me will be good year round but it will be very even better in the winter time but the top notes have green nose but um uh, uh, lemon uh, vanilla all that the middle notes got spices sound of wood roses Jasmine, orange blossom, and base notes have amber, musk, so on and so forth. You guys basically get the picture. So you first starting out, just go ahead and look at another perfume and get a good example of what phrase oil is good to blend. And then you know you can basically start from there. You can actually do a, a dupe of it if you want to basically test, you know, test the waters and so on and so forth um there is however a website you can also go to it is basically a fragrance or blending um article and website where you can it basically kind of teaches you how you can like blend your fragrance oils and things like that so yeah you guys to check it out i will leave it in the um, upper right hand corner and i'll also leave it in the description for you guys so next things next is what is a perfume if you don't know let me just tell you what a perfume is. Um, this is um, basic, you know. It's made up of mainly three things. It could have one or all of these in it, but it all depends. It, first, of course, is um, a fragrance oil and essential oil um, blend. You can add, like, vehicles, carriers, bases, whatever you want to call them, which is, like, carrier oil, such as sweet um, oil, hobo oil. You can have perfume with alcohol, which is ethanol. Um, you can add water, which is a cell of purify. You also have additives, and I'm reading off my note cards if you guys was wondering. I wrote this down so I can, you know, be able to be more efficient. Additives like um, botanicals, fixative, DPGs, vanilla, um, perfume colorants, all of that is just additives. You don't really, 
Um, I want to say you, would, you don't really need it, but you can add it if you want to. Anchors. Anchors is a secret. You guys find out more about those in later videos. But you can add one to all of these to make a particular fragrance blend. Now, you guys, the main thing we are here for is so I can tell you guys the calculations of how to blend. Um, well, not how to blend, but how to calculate how much fragrance oil or essential oil you will need in your formula. For example, if you were to use a 100 milliliter fragrance or a... 8 ounce fragrance or a 1 pound fragrance, uh, I mean a perfume mixture, you will know exactly how much fragrance you will need in that one or essential oil um, to make, to use the recommended amount, the safest recommended amount told to you by that fragrance distributor. distributor. So yeah you guys, that's basically what I'm going to do, just show you how to calculate how much fragrance you got to put to make your perfume. That's it. So let's get started. And I'm going to go ahead and throw them out in the video randomly so you won't know when they're coming. So stay tuned and watch the whole video. So the first thing I actually want to talk to, talk to you guys about is the fragrance wheel, which is basically um, a wheel of the majority of the fragrances that you're smelling around your life, I bet, I, I guess um, you can say. It's made up of florals, orientals, fresh and woozies and of course you have your fruits in there and you have balsamic which i do not mention i explain that after i explain the first ones first um so your floors and orientals and woody and fresh is your main notes of course other things falls into it if you look at your wheel you will see the soft florals woody orientals or aromatic citruses waters so on and so forth and those are basically the different things that fall underneath those those scents now um if you can see that orientals is a cost from fresh just like florist is a cost from woody those kind of like go together um you can say it's not really mandatory that you blend those but if you were to blend a floral with a woozy you can kind of see how it would give you a nice little blend there because they kind of form like the same family like earthy i guess and just like the fresh and the orientals like orientals is mainly like if you really look it's like an instant candle color i meant candle color like a candle fragrance like incense um resin that's like more like candle candle-ish type fragrance since of course they are used in perfume but and that really goes with like your first sense. I mean, if you were to blend those together, you can imagine how good that would smell. You know what I mean? Like that that would be delicious. Like, but you could mix all of these together. It's not a rule. It's just something to think about. And the balsamic is like a soft sweet. I say that far more like um towards like the fruity side. Uh, depending, you know, it all depends. Like everything's a little different. All mixtures are different. But it's just something that I want you guys to you know think about. Um, I would suggest screenshot of this so you can see everything like aldehydes. You see the powdery notes that falls on the florals. You see sandalwood and patchouli falls under like woody oriental, so it's like a good mix. Um, you have your citruses and your waters, your aquatic fragrances on the fresh, and you know you have your leathers, your herbs, your cinnamon, all that's like on the woodies and base notes and things like that. So you guys, that is basically what the fragrance wheel is. Um, it's good to look at to see what other type of fragrances is out there. Um, take like an example, take greens and, and search green fragrance oils or greenery or things like that. And you know, you can find some, some good little fragrances under there, you know what I mean? The next thing I wanna talk about is the Perfume Fragrance Pyramid. Now this one, as you can see, I'm putting one up right now. Um, this one is actually my favorite. It is a few that I do like to look towards. But the reason I like this one because it talks about balsamic. It also gives you the uh, aromatic. So you guys can like, you know, basically look into there. So the myth about the perfume pyramid is that that it's time those mid notes and base notes. And people like to say to make a perfume, you need one from each category or a certain percentage of each from each category that's another that's a lot do not follow that you can add how many base base oils you want you can add how many top notes you want you can have add how many bottom notes you want you can top bottom middle it don't matter you can add whatever you want i'm, I'm gonna cut that right there however it is good to know what falls under each category is why i'm bringing this up for you guys okay so when it comes to the category top notes is basically like your citruses your mineral notes is like your fruities and your florals and your bottom notes is like your woozies and your spices basically that's basically all it really is now when it comes to a perfume the reason they tell you to do it in that order will because um you can come in 
smell is basically like the first smell that you smell when you spray a perfume and it's the first one to disperse or evaporate or go into the air whatever you want to say it's the first one going it's the first one going so once it's gone you know that's why a lot of people don't really steer towards uh, like the top notes or citruses and things like that because of that reason but i'm saying it doesn't really matter you guys it doesn't matter like you can still get a very very strong um, perfume with uh citruses and i'm going to basically make a citrus perfume so i i if you guys want to see what i mean you can just purchase purchase it when i make it and then you know <laughs> and the middle note is basically the one that actually stays the longest it's the one that lingers the longest it's not the strongest but it lingers the longest um and the last one is which is your bottom note which helps hold the fragrance hold other fragrances like essential oils or fragrance oils and it makes them better the bottom notes bring out the best in all of them top notes middle notes itself it's just yeah i love base notes i love ouds i love white musk not regular musk because i don't like the way that's made you know if you know that like, regular musk is usually made from deer so that's not really like that's not really i don't really like i don't really mess with that but white musk is um created um or, like you know naturally organically or whatever so yeah but those are some strong fragrances when it comes to base notes they carry they are very good carriers to any fragrance like any fragrance and i love them but those are the ones that actually brings the strength in perfume and fragrance oils and things like that bye bye hey close the door yeah, bye bye. Close it there. Um, so yeah, you guys. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. And it's also like something that is told. I can't say I experienced this myself, but they say citruses and florals and fruities usually do great in the summertime because of the heat. And spices is normally better in the winter time, but because it can be overpowering when it comes to like summer heat. But you know, I never really tested that myself, but that's what they say. I mean, I live in Florida, so it's always hot. So it don't really matter because it's it's always hot. I mean, it's always hot. So, anyway, so we are now on to. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get through the first calculation. The first calculation, which is the frig. I hope that did not cut me off from talking. The first calculation, which is fragrance or calculation. I know you guys are going to really like this one. The phrase of oils is the main ones used. Don't worry, I will get to the essential oils later. So, first thing I want to say is when it comes to a phrase of oil, if it does not have a calculation on it, and you guys do not know what it is, just email the company that you purchased it from, or you can look up the IFRA of that particular company. So, for example, if it was like IFRA of um, Nature's Garden Fragrances. It should pop up. It should be the first one. You can just look through there and see the allowed percentage of their perfume, whether it's a spray or oil. So, just a quick tip for you guys. Just a quick tip. But let's go ahead and get to you. So the calculations, the main calculations when it comes to percentages is 6% per pound, which could also be converted to 6% per 16 ounces. And 16 ounces make one pound. Yes. Okay. Um, and yeah, and then I'm going to go ahead and explain how they got that, you guys, so you can understand how the, the formula works that um, I created. So to get that 6%, they times... They divided one, which is one ounce, because it's one ounce per pound, because it's out of 6% per 60 ounces, 6% per one pound, or one ounce per 16 ounces. It's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. So they divided, they divided one by 16, which got 0 0.625. They carried over the decimal and got um, that 6%. And they ran it down because it's 6.25. But they ran down and just got 6%. Just keep it safe. So 6% per, per 60 ounces or per pound, whatever. It doesn't matter. And to get your calculations, you would times whatever you're using, whether it's a pound, a milliliter, a gram, an ounce, you would times that by whatever percentage allowed to use of that fragrance. So say if you got a fragrance, you bought fragrance, it says you're allowed to use 7%. So you wanted to make 16 ounces of perfume, you're like 16 times 7 percent which would give you 1.2 1.12 ounces and that's the amount of ounces you are allowed to use in that 16 ounces it's not 16 ounces plus 1.1.12 ounce. no it's 16 ounces added into that 16 ounce so it's it'll be 16 subtract like one is like what 15 blah, blah, blah. you get what i'm saying you don't you don't put 16 ounces and 1.2 it's all calculated all into one so that's how you will get it. Now me, I feel like 16 ounces is way too much. I like 430, 73 or something like that. Middle 473, something like that, 480. That's too much for a beginner. So we're gonna go ahead and say we're gonna use 
100 milliliters. So we're going to use 100 milliliters, which is roughly 3.4 ounces. I like working ounces, so that's what I'm going to do. 3.4 ounces, because I want to make 100 milliliters of um, perfume. So I'm going to do 3.4 ounces times 7, because that's a, what the perfume, the fragrance oils I can use. 3.4 times 7 equals 0 0.238 ounces. That is what I'm allowed to use in a 3.4 ounce formula for my perfume. Again, another example, 3.4 times 2%, because another perfume said I'm only allowed to use 2%, equals 0 0.068 ounces, and that is exactly how much I am allowed to use. Now, this works with milliliters. It was 3.4 milliliters um, times 7, and it gave you that number. That would be that many milliliters, because that is what you're using, milliliters. If you use ounces, it's all ounces. If it's grams, it's all grams, okay? So that is what I did. That's how I got my calculation for that. Um, it's always the same. It was 3.4 times the percentage equals the amount of ounces. The 3.4 ounces times the percentage will give you the amount of ounces used in that formula, okay? And to everybody that you ask that I use DPGs or fixatives, I do not use a fixative. I do use a DPG in my perfume. I only use 4 milliliters to 100 milliliters solution. If I was using a fixative, it'd probably be less, but for at the moment, that is what I do. The next thing I wanted to talk about is concentrations of perfume. Now, the myth of this one is the higher the concentration, the stronger and long-lasting your perfume will be. That is a lie. That's a big lie. That is not true. I have made plenty of perfumes and, and with essential oils and or fragrance oils where I use more of something and less of something. And the one with less was stronger and long-lasting than the one with more. It just all depends on your blend. It all depends on the quality of your fragrances. It all depends on the quality of your oils. It all depends on how long you let it sit. If the, you did the mixture right. All that plays a part. So do not let this concentration make you think that it's going to be stronger, okay? So basically, perfume concentration is a, a, a percentage... Uh, the fragrance or percentages in the entire solution. So, a la France is 1 to 3% concentration. A la Cologne is 2 to 4% concentration. A la Toilette is 5 to 15% concentration. A la Perfume is 15 to 20% concentration. And Perfume is 20 to 30% concentration. You, you also have like mist and aftershave and everything like that. Now, there are percentages, you know. You can look into that yourself, but... Like I said, just because it's more doesn't mean it makes it stronger or long-lasting. But it is legally... Um, you are legally, uh, you are legally, you legally have to put on your body which one it falls under because uh, more can like irritate people's skin, less can not be like, you know, satisfactory. So, yeah, you guys, that's basically what that is. Very simple, very self explanatory. Now, I'm quickly going to get to the last thing, which is essential oil, my essential oil formula. Now, drops of essential oil per ounce of carrier oil. So, six drops is equal to 1% dilution. Now, I'm going to have it on the screen. You guys can screenshot it, copy it, all that stuff, everything like that. So you guys can know. But I do not follow this exact formula. However, the formula I made will equal to this. Okay? It does not. Just the formula I'm giving you will equal to this. I'm not changing anything. It will be the same concentration, same amount, the same everything, the same end result. Okay? So my calculation is one drop to every five milliliters is a 1% dilution. So that's six drops to every... 30 milliliters of, you know, carrier is 1% dilution. It's the same thing. One drop to every 5 milliliters of carrier is 1% dilution. And then how I basically add to it. Like, say, for instance, I wanted to do, um, I wanted 100 milliliters. I would try and five by 20 because 20 would make 100 milliliters. And I would try to 1 by 20, which means it would be 20 drops per 100 milliliters. And I would do that. Continuously, it's basically that simple, you guys. So it'll be one to five, one drop to five milliliters, just that simple. And you will times it by whatever number, a uh, total amount of, you know, uh, and keep it milliliters. I want to say to change it to ounces or anything. I say keep this one as milliliters, and then you know, um, you can convert it on your own time. But I do not. I say because it keep it as milliliters. But if you want to convert it, you can if it's easier for you. But I would tell about whatever. Say so if I wanted like 30 milliliter solution, 40 milliliter solution, 150 milliliter solution, I would times that. I would basically divide the five by that. So yeah, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. So yeah, you guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the equations right here so you guys can. Oops. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I just want to go ahead and leave the equations on the, the screen for you guys so you guys can screenshot it. Again, if you have any questions, you can always, you know, write me on Instagram and stuff like that uh, so I can help you out a little more if this was a little bit too confusing or was going too fast. But, yeah, you guys, basically, to get the um, solution, I mean, to get it for the 
essential oil, you basically do one um, one drop to five milliliters, and you will times that by whatever number of milliliters you want. So if you want, like, if you times it by, like, for example, you times it by six, um, you'll times one by six, you'll times five by six, and for um, the first one, you get six, of course, because any number times itself is itself, and five plus six is 30, which, like I said, it comes right back to that solution, six drops to every 30 milliliters, it goes down one percent dilution and so on and so forth and that's basically how you do that and then if you need more you'll basically double the drops to get um you'll double drops to get two percent dilution double drop to get three percent dilution double uh, keep adding on to itself so 20 drops will make that for the 100 milliliters will make one percent dilution yeah 40 drops that'll make the two percent dilution 20, 20 more drops, 60 drops would make 3% dilution, so on and so forth. It's kind of self-explanatory. So, yeah, you guys, um, for essential oil, I think that, that many drops is good enough on itself because essential oil is very strong. But, hey, guys, like I said, it is on the screen for you guys to copy for both equations. If you need, have any other questions, go ahead. A dedication to the last little happy year. So bring your good time and your life to do. We gon' celebrate. Party with you,